Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Brock gadget. So I've already played a scrim uh, with the new gadgets in play yesterday. So with Cole and Brock and both of them are absolutely amazing. I feel like Brock is going to be at least like a top eight brawler in the metal with this gadget. So the Brock gadget, uh, if you guys take a look at it. Uh, Brock's next attack is a mega rocket so this will be bigger faster explodes with a larger radius and it destroys walls and it deals two times the damage 100% extra it's completely insane you have three usages uh, I've seen multiple clips where it's like a tick or a throw behind a wall especially a tick you can one shot a tick as well with this gadget behind a wall and it just kills them it just completely changes the way you play Brawl Stars now because there's multiple maps where breaking up the wall straight away is just going to change the dynamic of the game. So I'll be going into a few of these maps right now. That's why we're in the friendly room. So without further ado, let's jump into the games. All right, guys. So one map I know straight away that's going to change from this Brock gadget is going to be Backyard Bowls. So as you see, the two walls that are right here, just just literally just do that with the, <laughs> with the uh, gadget. That's one wall gone. And that's one thing with Backyard Bowl. Once you get them walls down, it completely changes the way. So as you can see, Rocket straight away taking down the Brock as well. I didn't even mean to take down the Brock there. I just was aiming for wall and I take him down. And straight away again, our wall is taken down from the Brock gadget. So I've still got one more gadget left and we can probably break open and walls. So just straight away look. It normally takes probably like a minute or so to break up these walls on Backyard Bowl. But with this gadget, just them walls are broken straight away. You've got his super for wall breaks as well. I'm going to use this gadget just to break this wall open. Oh my god. <laughs> these are broken. It's so broken. Like, I just don't understand how this is even allowed in the game. It's insane. It's the most... I think it's the most broken gadget to, like, ever be released. It's... It's everything about it. You can't dodge it. It's bigger. It's faster. A larger exploding radius. Like, what isn't good about it? They need to heavily nerf it. So I feel like... Like straight away, they need to nerf it and just get rid of like the uh, wall explosion kind of thing about it. I like how Brock's back in the meta because of his gadget, but it's just, <laughs> it actually is insane the amount of value you can get with it. It's kind of crazy how, as I said, they've allowed something like this in the game. Uh, there's going to be multiple maps that I'll try and show you guys how to, uh, uh, well, just just like that again. I just completely forgot you could do something like that. That's a really nice play from that Brock. Just being open, just being o able to open up the map like that without any punishment. So you know, like. It reminds me of the penny gadget with her turret, but the thing is, it takes you a while to get that penny turret. You know, you've got to sacrifice the whole penny turret just to open a wall, which most of the time isn't really worth it. Uh, but with this gadget, you don't take any sacrifices. You just press the gadget, you sacrifice a single shot, and with Brock, you get that light straight away. So, as you can see, you've already seen in just one game. This is my first game of the day, and you've seen how good Brock gadget is. It's just completely uh, scored two goals by itself. Near enough. His Max should be able to finish off his Piper, hopefully. I'm hoping this Brock's not got another gadget left. Else he's just going to be able to tap me easily. It's basically a B3K shot, this Brock. Um, this Brock gadget is. It does the exact same damage as a B3K. So, as I said, B3K, one shot's tick, and so does the gadget. It's just... Just the utility of Brock is insane now, and there's just no way the other gadget for Brock's going to be better. And that's really, like, weird, because that Brock gadget is just completely... Well, one of the best gadgets in the game as well. So Brock's utility is really, really good. Um, I'd be surprised if we don't see this gadget get nerfed within the next week. But just as I said, it completely changes the way you play Brawl Stars. So this is a really long game, to be honest. Um, I'm probably going to cut this one out. So yeah, Brock, amazing on a backhill bomb. All right, guys. So heading into the next game, we're going to be going on Hard Rock Mine. So this is another map that I use on the screen. Brock used to be amazing on this map. And the only problem with really is aggro brawlers can kind of sit behind this wall. But with this gadget, psych, see you later walls, you can basically win your lane easily. And uh, if there's another Brock on the team, then four walls are going to get this like destroyed like immediately. So we're able to take down the beaver and able to stay alive. I can't pretty much suck, so I'm not too sure why we've got an 8-bit and a Brock down our side. So I'm going to go down the Brock lane instead. Should be able to tap the Brock up we're able to get him pretty low i'm just going to open it up with my normal super we're able to get that and then once this uh gene's in um range i'm able to get a fast rocket and just absolute delete him there's there's like near enough no dodging that unless the brock shot itself is really bad and we've still got one more left so we don't really need to break up more i've got my super again and you just see how open this map gets straight away with a couple of gadgets a couple of supers it's kind of insane so i'm going to use this brock shot to get down to b <laughs> It's just absolutely destroying people. I've missed a Brock in the meta, to be fair. Uh, I really do love this gadget. 
uh, in the sense that it makes Brock good again, but it's just, it is really broken, guys. Like, you've got to use this. It's going to be, I'm probably going to have to make, like, another video on this, just talking about, like, the best usages out of them. Maybe do, like, a Brock guard or something, because this is just, you can just carry the team so easily with this kind of comp. The only thing Brock really struggles against was the kind of aggro things, and uh, a lot of the time people used to hide behind walls, but taking down them walls just, like, it just makes them the perfect brawl at the minute. So that's going to be that game. Let's hop into another one. All right, guys, hopping into the next map then. So another map straight away, I realized that's going to really change the way you play it. It's going to be Crystal Arcade. So this is a really good competitive map a lot of people play on. But uh, the only annoying thing is Brock used to be really good, but you just see that wall. The really aggressive lanes used to be really good. But, you know, if you've got that gadget able to break it up like straight away, you're going to have no problems winning your lanes. So Brock, uh, the main problem, well, the main best lanes for him, well, on this map, Oh, sorry, I'll just get messed up with my words there. With Tara, Spike, you know, like Carl, um, them type of brawlers. And the reason why it was so good is because you used to be able to sneak all the time. In the grass, it was hard to kind of scout. Even though it's just like a little two-lane system, it's just really hard to scout down them lanes. But destroying that wall just makes it so much easier for a Brock just to absolutely dominate down this side. And uh, to be honest, not really a lot of brawlers counter Brock down this lane, especially on Crystal Arcade. You're just able, you're just easy easily able to dominate and as you can see just eight eight uh gems without contestion you're able to just destroy that brock there and um brock used to be good back in the day on this map because um this map used to be in beta but uh with all the new brawlers with all the new gadgets brock just did not become good at all but now as you can see just easily won my lane and i just see it being like a, such a good competitive pick now to be honest, I feel like he could even be a top 5 run in the game. I'm going to have to play a ton of ladder and uh, a few scrims and whatnot just to see how good he really is. But with the other gadget, I'm not actually able to jump away from that. I'm somehow able to stay alive, which is the only kind of like negative bam. You can't really use your jump to get out of sticky situations, but you just see how well that just dominated there. Alright guys, so heading into Siege now, Brock already was fairly decent on a few maps. Like Factory Rush has a really good map for him, Bot Drop. Uh, but even maps like this now, he's going to be insane just because of this gadget. So uh, they're going to be using double tank, which is probably better because the map's going to open up. But straight away, I'm just going to use my gadget, just destroy that wall. And now you can see how open it is. So throwers are going to get a huge nerf with this um, gadget just because of his walls being broken like straight away. The map, especially when there's two brocks on the map, you think about it, that's six gadgets. That's six chances to just wall break straight away. So I'm just going to use super here. I know it actually destroys the lane for the barley, but it's able for me to get a kill. I've got two gadgets left and... Uh, I've just, just I've already destroyed the walls that I need to destroy because there's another Brock as well on that side. So I uh, can see how good he is on Siege. The thing about Brock, he's not going to be the best against uh, Gene, but uh, the problem is if you're using like a, a specialized comp around the gadget, you're going to be able to get some good use out of it. So I'm going to like pop gadget straight away. Cole's done well to dodge that to be fair with his super, but um, and I'm just going to get hit by that free case. So you can just see how. <laughs> how crazy it is you can use different ways to kind of dodge it but uh to be fair if you haven't got like a like, coal super or something like that you're not going to be able to dodge it so i'm going to use my gadget there and get a meaty kill there <laughs> like i didn't even hit the shot and it still it still killed him so it's going to be quite um hard to finish to be fair they've got a frank on defense they're going to use that gadget to try and keep me back luckily i've dodged my way into it we're going to be able to finish it but yeah brock there's going to be a lot of different team synergies now with this gadget as i said you know you can destroy uh the walls straight away you can use some longer range brawlers down the lanes instead of throwers so spice up the siege meta as well all right guys so the next mode is up and this is probably the map that's going to get influenced uh, influenced by brock's gadget the most it's going to be gg mortary so as you can see straight away they've used brock gadget just to open up that wall I mean, it's just going to create chaos. Normally, you just kind of had to wait around uh, for Brock to build up super, for, you know, Daryl to build up super. But now, straight away, off the bat, there's going to be no waiting around. You use that gadget straight away to open it up, uh, which I played ladder on it yesterday, and it's kind of, uh, it's really weird to get used to just because it's just chaotic straight away. I'm going to use this gadget because I know it's going to deal damage to him straight away. I'm going to use that super, so it's <laughs> this map's going to be absolutely chaos now with the way it's played. I'm going to get deleted by that spike there, but... Uh, yeah, every lane's going to be open straight away. You know, Brock was already a number one pick on this map. And now with his gadget, you know, <laughs> he's going to dominate even more. So I'm going to use his Brock gadget against that Brock to keep him back. He's going to be one shot now. And that's the one thing as well. You know, a lot of the times you're going to get people super low with um, 
Is that gadget? I've already used all my gadgets, but the thing is, I'm going to be cycling super so much quicker. Uh, we're actually getting dominated here, which is a bit sad. Let's try and pinch this rock down. Let's get into auto aim range. We need to not allow that spike to get on the safe. So let's just super everything up. Let's just open the whole map up. As you've seen, there's both there's two maps in the game. You've just seen like every single map just basically not turn into the map it once was. It just gets so open. I need to find a way to get up here. I'm just defending way too much. Let's just leave this Daryl. Hopefully our spike should be able to get this. Thing is, I can't jump away from a shot like that, which is super annoying now. Let's heal up, try and get him down. Let's break up everything here. We should be able to get some decent... Okay, for some reason that didn't break up the way I wanted it to. I can't jump away as well. That's one important change as well with the interaction with Brock. Uh, because you haven't got the jump gadget now, a Brock super, you can't just jump away from it. You know you're going to always be able to uh, hit an enemy Brock if you're using that gadget and get him down. So Brock's got that gadget there. Need to be careful. He's going to use it on the safe, which is fair enough. He was trying to probably use that on me. Let's just use my super on the spike. Try and get him down. Okay, we are down a lot in percentages. But you see, this map's just... It's just so chaotic now. Before, there was a lot of uh, patient waiting and competitive. A lot of waiting for the right moment. But now, it's just everyone going ham. Going full-on offensive mode. Which, to be honest, I kind of like. Because GG Mortar used to be a really toxic map. But, um... I, I don't know, it's just a bit, it's a bit chaotic. And uh, yeah, that's going to be another map. Heist is going to change a ton with this uh, Brock gadget. All right, guys, it's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you really enjoyed. Maybe I'll start doing more of these kind of insightful videos instead of just going on ladder and playing the game. So I probably enjoyed this a little bit more because I'm able just to pick them up and say, you know, this brawler is going to be good on this map. I know for sure that Brock is going to be really good on the maps I mentioned. And across all modes, I feel like it's going to be pretty meta at the moment. So, you know, if you see that gadget in your shop, you need to buy this gadget. It's insane. Top 5 gadget easily. Brock's probably going to become meta, as I said, just alone from this gadget. So, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.